I'm hopeful because of a young woman named Jamila Abbas. That proud moment when your name inspires hope and is delivered to a packed audience by the leader of the world's most powerful nation. Jamila founded MFARM, which is a mobile platform that is already used by over 14,000 people across Kenya. MFARM makes it easy for farmers to get information that lets them match their crops with what the market demands. My name is Jamila Abbas. I'm the founder and CEO of MFARM Limited a company that connects farmers to buyers through SMS technology and web technology. Jamila Abbas inspires those she meets. She is the brains behind MFARM, an idea born out of the frustration faced by farmers. We started MFARM to encourage collective action between farmers so that they can come together, aggregate their produce and connect to bigger markets and profit from, you know, like uh, the shorter supply chain because in Kenya we have really long supply chain but with AmFarm the supply chain becomes shorter and farmers can increase their sales and revenues. Farmers are required to register and pay 400 shillings for six months or 800 shillings to access information for a year. On the SMS platform, one registers by simply texting their names to 20255. There, tomatoes yeah. trading at uh, 3,500 shillings per 50 kilograms. Yes. That is in Nakuru. That is in Nakuru. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it was quite quick. It's very quick. In, it's in three seconds, actually, you get your response. So we try to optimize the systems for better experience for the farmers. Just by one text, one shilling, they get access to all the information that is at Amfa. Jamila has told the story of the trials faced by farmers over and over again. He doesn't have information. He doesn't know where to sell his produce and how to sell it and who to sell it to. This is the situation for more than 7 million households in Kenya. In she says the use of modern technology is the solution to sustainably respond to these challenges. She's part of those providing a solution. I love what I do. Um, waking up every morning, ensuring that I'm working towards empowering somebody else and uh, ensuring that the information that we provide, the market that we provide, even if it's not going to touch every farmer's lives, just the fact that you know one farmer's life is going to change, it's very satisfactory. So I love what I do because I know we are making an impact even if it's a micro level. One of those who have benefited from M-Farm is Gerald Maghetto, who has been farming for three years now. I'm not able to even meet the market demands. So to me, that's a very big plus. That's to any, anyone who wants to, to anyone wants doing any business, you know, that's a very big plus. So is it possible to have the M-Farm model replicated in other counties? The answer is yes. County governors should adopt this platform because it's been celebrated everywhere in the world. Why are we not having our own leaders celebrating it, owning it, and saying it, I want to use MFAM in this particular location because I have seen what it can do. Even as they aspire to reach more and more Kenyans, they know the one man who appreciates their work, United States President Barack Obama. What does it feel to get such recognition? The fact that President Obama can say MFAM has helped this number of farmers, that was the most exciting thing for me. Our system was running crazy as soon as Obama mentioned MFARM. Everyone was trying to access our system, so we had to cool things down in the office for a while. And should you ever need inspiration, perhaps these words may just do it for you. Our mantra really is, we are doing good while making money. For Citizen Business Center, I am Anne Mawade.